Thanks for joining me today. Since we're getting ready to kick off the summer reading program, I thought that we should start by reading a story. And since our theme is Tales and Tales this year, I thought I should have a co-host who has a tale. This is my friend Reba. Reba is a white rat who really enjoys reading, so her nickname is Re The Reading Rat. Reba The Reading Rat. And she was very excited because I found the perfect story. It's hard, hard to find good picture books about rats, but I found this one by Marianne Fraser called IQ Goes to School. So we're going to read that together today and hopefully Reba can use some of her fine listening skills. Books over here to enjoy the story with us. All right, so here we go. IQ Goes to School by Marianne Fraser. All right. September. IQ came to school on the first day. Children, said Mrs. Ferber, the teacher, this is IQ. He is our class pet. But IQ didn't want to be a class pet. He wanted to be a student. What do you think? Would you want to go to school? You're not doing a great job of listening. You should look over here. She'll do what she likes. Every day he watched and listened. When Mrs. Ferber read a book, IQ sat quietly with his hands in his lap. Some books made him laugh and some made him cry, but he loved them all. Mrs. Ferber said everyone needed exercise. When the children went to recess, IQ ran on his wheel. Each Monday, Mrs. Ferber picked the student of the week that student got to sit in a special chair and bring in things to share for their entire week. And Mrs. Ferber picked Holly's name first. IQ wondered when it would be his turn to be student of the week. November. In November, the class learned the names of all the colors in the rainbow. IQ tried to color his own rainbow. The crayons were too big, so he finger painted a rainbow instead. IQ had a small role in the Thanksgiving play. The night of the performance, he played his part with lots of emotion. At the end, he took a big bow. IQ still wondered when he would be student of the week. What do you think? Think you'll get there? Yeah? By December, IQ could count to 10 on his toes. Danielle, Tim, and Jonathan shared their different holiday traditions and talked about their plans for winter break. IQ worried that he would spend his vacation all alone at school. That'd be sad. Rats don't like being alone. They like to have lots of friends, right? Right. Mrs. Ferber asked, who would like to take IQ home for the holidays? Nearly everyone raised their hands. Mrs. Ferber chose Stephanie, who was sitting quietly. IQ's vacation was everything he hoped it would be. Looks like he's having a lot of fun. After New Year's Day, Stephanie returned IQ to the classroom. He used the treats Alex sneaked to him to learn about more, equal, less, and zero. Writing was much harder to learn. Even though he practiced holding his pencil, his letters were very messy. I mean, when the pencil is about as big as you, I can bet that that would be really hard. Do you think you could do that? No? Okay. I bet you could. In February, IQ made Valentine's for each of the other students and an extra special one for Mrs. Ferber. He was afraid the children might think he was the teacher's pet, so he didn't sign his name. IQ still hadn't been student of the week. After learning about George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, IQ decided he wanted to be president when he grew up. Then he could have his own special chair and a desk to go with it. We already read that. Where are you going? Is that, how's that going for you? Hey Reba, we can't climb on the books. We want to hear the rest of the story. We have to hear if IQ is student of the week. Can't do that if you're climbing on the book. March. In March, the class studied shapes. IQ found more circles, squares, and rectangles in the classroom than anyone else. On St. Patrick's Day, the children found little green footprints all around the classroom. 
They thought leprechauns had come to visit. Mrs. Ferber had her own suspicions. Yeah, I think I do too. All those little green footprints. By mid-spring, IQ could read hat, bat, and cat. For science, the class planted seeds to watch them grow. The class couldn't figure out why IQs never grew. Oh, I don't know if you can see this picture, but I think I know why IQs wouldn't grow. It's kind of hard for a plant to grow if you're chewing on the seeds. You'd know about that, wouldn't you, Reba? She really likes sunflower seeds. She likes pumpkin seeds, too. In May, the class went on a field trip to the zoo. IQ was not allowed to go. He thought it was because he did not have a signed permission slip. He was sure it was his turn to be student of the week, but by the end of the month, Mrs. Ferber still hadn't called his name. Oh, poor IQ. June, there was only one more week of school left. Maybe Mrs. Ferber forgot to put my name in the student of the week bowl, thought IQ. He decided not to take any chances. On Monday, Mrs. Ferber reached into the bowl and pulled out a name. This week's student of the week, who's it gonna be? You think they'll be surprised? What do you think? <gasps> IQ? Finally, IQ had his turn to sit in the special chair and share with the class. I know, you're excited too. I would be. How neat is that? He got his chance to be student of the week. On the last day of school, the class had a party. Then the children talked about their plans for summer vacation. IQ was worried. He didn't have any plans. Where is IQ going for this summer? The children asked. Mrs. Ferber smiled. I will be working at a summer camp and IQ is going to be the camp pet. But IQ already knew he didn't want to be the camp pet. What did he want to be? I bet I know. Reba, do you think you know? He wanted to be a camper. The end. I really liked that story. I hope you did too. And if you want to hear more stories like that or sign them out for yourself, come on down to the library and sign out some books for the summer reading program. I don't think Reba will be there. She's going to stay at home. But I'm sure that we'll be hearing about lots of other tailed friends throughout the summer. So thank you for listening and we'll see you at the library. Bye. Say bye. Say bye.